Eleven days before Harson's Broncos kick off in Glendale, two other teams will borrow the blue turf at Albertson Stadium in the famous Idaho Potato Bowl. The longest running cold weather bowl features Air Force and Western Michigan in its 18th annual edition. Both programs boasted seven game turnarounds this season, going from a combined 3 and 21 last year to 17 and 7 in 2014. Bowl director Kevin McDonald is pleased to bring the Falcons and Broncos to Boise. We're excited to have one of the military academies in our bowl game. Uh, it's a unique opportunity to, uh, to host a team, the school, uh, in Boise at our bowl game, so we're real excited about that. But we're real excited, too, because neither one of these teams have played um, in our bowl game before. Air Force beat two 10-win teams this season, Colorado State and, of course, Boise State. Head coach Troy Calhoun was coy about whether his upset of the Broncos changed the course of the Falcons' season one game and that's one of the things we make sure we impress upon our guys you know whether you win a game or you lose a game it's only one game and we're pretty adamant about having that kind of discipline and I, and I think if you and more importantly if down the road they go fly one important mission you're trying to teach them a degree of professionalism to go operate the next day and realize it's a new day. All season has been a new day for Western Michigan and 34-year-old P.J. Fleck, the youngest head coach in all of college football. He's optimistic Western's Bronco mascot will play well in Boise. I hope everybody wears their blue and orange and just starts chanting Broncos the entire time. That would be perfect for us. Uh, the problem is Air Force is in the home team, so I'm sure they're going to be in all blue. So I'm not sure which one they're going to be rooting for. I'm going to see how much brown and gold we can get in those stands. The famous Idaho Potato Bowl kicks off at 345 December 20th on ESPN.